Hey, level dub. Alright. Level up my combat. Block projectiles. Still have two more points I need. I need to need one more parkour point, which is great. Uh, the next one is the... Let's see... Baba. I hear PKs were butchered in the BNC tower. I had a feeling it would be the same way as it did. Alright, we'll turn in the books. And do the last book one, and then... That's it. Move on to the main story, finally. And just try to finish that off, because after that, it's pretty much... A few more side quests here and there, I'm sure, will pop up. But... That'll be it for now. What's this? Oh, no, 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 I'm good. Told you I could handle that thing. Where's this guy Aiden, at? I am sorry I asked that of you. I was worried sick, but thank you. I'll be able to help so many people once supply brings me the samples. Speaking of which, how's Harlan's father? Any news? As a matter of fact, yes. The parasites have been completely eliminated. Yeah. That's great to hear. I was worried. As was I. Outcomes like this are not guaranteed, but we are thankful when they happen. Yep. And what do you have for me now? More hunting? Trapping? Actually, there is one more matter to attend to. Hmm. What can I do for you? Uh, not for me. Uh, for Corvus. He's... He is waiting out in the garden to speak to you. Corvus? Hmm. You wondered where Mr. Tall, Dark, and Surly was lurking? Yes. Well, uh, out in the garden. Please. Please, see him. I... I have a rather complicated potion to formulate right now. If you say so. I feel like he wants to kill me. This is a trap. Is this a trap? Tell me now! You punk. Wait. Whoops. Let me do that. I gotta like craft some med kits real quick. No, I can't believe I can only make one. One at a time. This way? Oh. This is a beautiful garden. What the hell? What's there up, you are. Been waiting for you. What do you want from me, man? What's this all about, Corvus? You're friendly all of a sudden. I'm in a good mood. It's time to celebrate. What are we celebrating exactly? I will tell you if you will drink with me. Hmm, I don't know, man. Yeah, well, I want to know what we're drinking to first. And spoil the surprise? Drink, Aiden. I invite you. I that's poison or something, man. Um, sure. I'll knock one back with you. Excellent. Definitely gonna knock out. Okay, what's this celebration all about? Uh, Your hunts are finished. You will leave and never come back. To that, who we drink. Leaving? Says who? It's not like you're gonna go on hunts for the Baba. I thought that was beneath you. No, you are beneath me. Always mocking me. Never showing respect. Freeman. But that will soon all be in the past. 
drink. Nah, dude. I don't think that's a good idea. Such insolence. Okay, Corvus, you've clearly got something on your mind. What's this celebration really all about? You have been a thorn in my side since you first came here. You are coming between me and the Baba. She grows willful. You threaten all we have. And what exactly do you have? I've been wondering about that. A delicate balance. That is what. We are bound to each other. To the death. You don't act like soulmates to me. Welp. Your time is nearly up. All right. I don't know what your problem is, Corvus, but let's drink and forget about it. Yes, drink, but perhaps not forget. And now, your surprise. <laughs> oh, goody. You will not just be leaving this place. Freaking knew but it. this world, I will send you to your grave. Oh, finally, a direct threat. It's about time, Corvus. Dog, you think you're a great hunter, eliminating powerful beasts. Powerful, yes, but mindless. How, I wonder, would you fare against one such as me? Ooh, it sounds like you're calling me out. Oh, I am, dog. I will have your head. I'm not afraid of you, but I think the Baba is. I might just be doing her a favor by putting you down. You have mocked me for the last time. Die, well. <laughs> Damn, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, this is unfair. What's up, bro? There you go. That was easy. You fool. What's up, bro? Sorry, Baba. That's it, man. I thought Corvus would be next through that door. Yeah? Corvus just tried to kill me. Why? Did you know that was gonna happen? Yes. N no. I, I did not control Corvus. I was his prisoner. Hey, what? The robbery I mentioned? He staged it so that I would be obliged to him. Offer him money to protect me. He quickly began demanding more and more payment and threatening me if I tried to leave or have him arrested. I couldn't leave. Too many of my customers depend on me. And he had to stay to ensure I wouldn't turn him in. Uh, you're bound till death. That's what he meant. But what does any of this have to do with me? The hunt made me realize that you could face Corvus and survive. You set me up. I couldn't think of anything else to do. I knew you would prevail. You saved me. I'm indebted to you. You owe me nothing. Pops, but please take this. May it serve you well. That's mighty impressive. I know you think I am a charlatan, but I was a pharmacist in the military. My remedies are real. I just cloak them in a bit of mysticism because the old ways appeal to my customers. White lab coats are hardly a comfort to people these days. Yeah, that's true. So thank you. Come back again. I'll keep the shop stocked with whatever you need. Okay then. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Baba. All right. Yeah, I heard. You found them. That's incredible. Let, let's see. No one wrote adventure like Jules Verne. Around the world in 80 days. Journey to the center of the earth. And of course, 20,000 leagues under the sea. Did you know that in the Nautilus, he predicted many features of modern submarines? <laughs> A man ahead of his time. You'll be interested to know that in Plato's Republic, 
Socrates argues in defense of the connection between a just life and a happy life. Ah, if only such a sentiment could break through the cracks of our society and flower once more. You know, Aiden, I truly believe you deserve to be immortalized for your efforts to preserve the precious resource of human literature. I truly do. As probably does Thalia. Go ask her. Huh. Wait, so is there one more? Or is that it? There's one more. Ah. If it isn't my intellectual sparring partner, I see you brought Albert a copy of Plato's Republic. Petty stuff. I haven't read it, but Albert was sure excited. If it has pages, Albert's excited. But here's a question. If you had to make a choice, would you choose to be just or to be happy? Damn, that's rough. Both? Haha. <laughs> I choose both. Who said we had to choose in the first place? But that's the point of the exercise, to make a choice. You're not playing fair. That's not very just. Albert's shelves are nearly full. I suppose you'll stop visiting soon. We'll just have to see about that. Well, at least there's one more location to check. Okay. Let me see what's the closest points of fast travel to... Mark department, okay. So nine of them in there, that's crazy. Right. That's where it shouldn't take too long. Tales on the origin of species. Huh? Here you are. This will make Albert happy. You give us that book. Why this book? What's it to you? Because it contains a treasure map. Yeah. Uh, look, I think you're confused. It's called Treasure Island, and it may show a picture of a treasure map, but it's not real. Stupid. That's not what we hear. Now hand it over. It's not gonna happen. Then we'll take it from you. We're good at that. For sure. Plunder them, boys. Yeah. It's always gotta be... Always gotta do things. Whoa, 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 whoa. Keep him Oh, God. Yeah. Like me now, asshole. Oh, come on, dude. So freaking strong. You're so stupid. Oh, wait. Where's this eighth book? Man, 
I, I... Ah, oh wait, there it is. What's that? Plutarch's li Lives, Volumes 1 and 2. Alright, here we go. Let's grab this one again. I... You... Why, this... What's it... Big... Whoa, dude, that's so crazy. A treasure in Treasure Island. <laughs> Idiots. Wait, what's this? Huh? Looks like a um, safe combination. What is it? Hey, what is it? What the hell, bro? Ay, ay, ay. Wait a minute. Where the hell is it? I freaking hate this thing. Uh, bruh. Freaking a man. It was like twenty one something. Can I like look at it? Damn it, man. Twenty-one, twelve, fifty-five. All right. Let's see. Twenty-one, twelve, fifty-five. I'll be damned. Who has a treasure map? Well, the sorts. Luckily, the book is the only treasure Albert's looking for. Alright, Albert. More books. I may have to start calling you Santa. It's like Christmas every time you return. Almost everything you think you know about pirates comes from Robert Louis Stevenson's book, Treasure Island. But did you know it was originally meant as a coming of age story? Indeed. And even though it was for children, many pirate movies, when there were movies, were rated R. Oh, you my God. Know, sir, for a tough audience. <laughs> Darwin's Origin yeah. of the Species is the foundation of evolutionary biology. It's ironic, really. Is what's happening around us somehow an expression of Darwin's natural selection? Unnatural selection, if you ask me. You did it, Aiden. Our work here is done for now. I am humbled. Truly, I am. Humanity has a chance to survive, not just in body, but in spirit. Because of you. Take this. It is but a pittance for all your great works, but it may serve you in your daily adventures. Thank you, Albert. But I'm curious. What will you do now that your collection's complete? Hmm. With our literary past safeguarded, there is only one thing to do, my boy. What's that? Secure the future, of course. Ensure the human spirit continues to be distilled for ages to come. So, write more books? Precisely. Starting with a record of your heroic deeds that brought us to this moment. <laughs> Who want to read about me? After I've told your tale, my boy, everyone. Oh, and it will be epic. And I already have a title. Libros Libertad. Nice. Now leave me, for I must begin. Thank you again, Aiden. We are all in your debt. Oh, and check mm. up on Thalia. She wanted to talk to you. Keep well, Albert. What do you give me? 